Hi, in this video we will give an overview of how to uh, use the work items and queries inside Visual Studio Team Services and we will use these features to report and track bugs in our uh, software. So Visual Studio Team Services is a platform that takes care of all aspects of the process of developing software, the entire software development lifecycle. So you can share documents, and code, you can report bugs, etc., all within your team. So, with the Visual Studio Team Services, you can uh, use it as a source code control system, a bug tracking system, you can use it for project management, uh, where you can use Agile methods on Scrum, etc. So, in, in uh, Everything, it's a team collaboration platform. It's also integrated with uh, Visual Studio. So you can use Visual Studio to check in and check out code into the Visual Studio Team Services. So Visual Studio Team Services is a cloud service. So everything is stored in, in the cloud and you can use it for free for up to five users. In this video, we will show how to use Visual Studio Team Services as a bug tracking system and then we will use the work items which is part of Visual Studio Team Services to, to report the bugs and then we will use the queries feature in order to track the bugs uh, etc. So let's start with the bug tracking. A bug tracking system or a defect tracking system is a software application that keeps track of reported software bugs in all kinds of software development projects. Here in this video I will demonstrate how to use Visual Studio Team Services to report and track bugs in software development in general. In order to track bugs in Visual Studio Team Services you need to use the work items feature So here you see an example uh, how I have used the um, work item of type bug in order to report a new bug in the system. So let's go to Visual Studio Team Services and, and demonstrate, demonstrate this. So now I have opened my Visual Studio Team Services project and I'm seeing my home page here. Um, so there are different ways uh, to report bugs, but one of the ways is to just use uh, this feature on the home page. You can here select work item types, either bugs or other types of work items, but we will use bug. And then you can enter the title of the bugs. So let's just enter some bugs. Um, data base. failure in, um, in the business logic and then you can just click create and then this window pops up where you can enter more details about the bugs, some additional information etc. And then you can just click save or this one save and, uh, and close. So you just click this one, save and close. So now we have entered uh, our first bug in the system. Another way to report bugs is to go to the work folder here. And here we have queries where you can click new, a new bug, and then we can enter the bug. Mm. Fail in GUI or something, and then you can just save it, and the bug is saved into the system. In addition, you can also assign the bugs to a specific person. So here, in the un assign, the, you can select here, and you can select it to assign this bug to a specific person. And also, it's good to set the area because then it's easier to, uh, to know where the bugs were found. 
So here, since um, this is a failure in the GUI, in, the de in my desktop application, I just select the proper area like this, desktop, and these areas can be configured. So let's see how we can configure these areas. Then we click on this um, manage project and click areas and then here we can add or um, remove areas so assuming um, we have a database system as well so we can right click here new child and click um, database system and then click close save and close and then it pops up here so let's go back to our uh, bug reporting here so let's assuming you have a new bugs in the database then you can click new bug and uh, fail in database you or something and then you can assign it to a person and then we can select the area so here so then we select the proper area in this case the database system and also we can select the iteration where we found the bugs let's assume if we find on this bug in sprint number two like this here we can also add uh, additional information information about the system what kind of operating system we have used etc and then when you are finished you can just click save the next thing we want to do is to make some queries because if we enter lots of uh, bugs in the system it could be difficult to find the bugs we want so then queries is a way to structure the bugs uh, into lists. Um, so you can use queries to find existing work items and you can make uh, or create different queries to make it easy to find the work items you need. And also you can select if the queries should be personal or visible for everybody in the project in the team, so-called team queries. So either personal queries or team queries. So let's see how we can make queries inside Visual Studio Team Services. So now we are back in Visual Studio Team Services and here you can see we have uh, my queries and we have shared queries. So here I have ma made a query called uh, my bugs. So let's try this on. You see here I get a list of all the bugs that, that is um, assigned to me. Let's see how we can create these queries. So you can just click on either my queries or if it should be a shared queries, you can click on this one. So let's, let's try to start with a personal query. So let's right click on my queries and select new query. And then you could enter a name. Um, so just let just enter a name, all my bugs or something. And then you can select my queries or share queries. In this case, you select my queries. So click OK. And then we enter the, uh, the queries editor. And here you can enter the search field we want to use. So what kind of work item type. And then you can select equal to, to bug. And then here you can select assigned to in the list there so assigned to to me and then you can use this built-in variable uh, this one me and let's save the query like this and then you can see the results from the query here and this you see this query show all the bugs that is reported to me and then you can click on the different bugs like this so you see and uh, the list also or the query also show up in my my queries list here so 
all my bugs. So here I can create one or more queries where I can use to find a specific uh, kind of uh, work items. You can also um, customize which column you want to show here, clicking the column option. And then you can easily select the columns you want to use from this uh, the, this list of available columns. So when you're uh, sele uh, finished selecting the columns you want to use, you can just click OK and then save the query. So now I made a query where I can easily see all my bugs. I can click on them to see details in the bottom here or I can double click um, to see and more of the information. And also when I fix the bugs, I can click here and I can select this is uh, done like this and save it. Here I also can use the arrows uh, to browse through all my bugs. So let's start with the first one. I can click this one also is fixed so I, I can select done and save it like this. And if you go back to my queries now, you see the state has been changed on some of the items. So since these uh, two bugs has been fixed, then these, I guess these shouldn't be in my bug list anymore. So then uh, let's uh, change my query. Let's go to the editor and then select a new one, add new clause, and then you can select state. State, and then you should only show um, so then you could choose to select only state that is um, new to show only new work items in the list that is not fixed like this. Let's save the query. This and run the query. You see, it only shows the new uh, bugs in the list. So then let's uh, create a new query where we show all the bugs that are fixed. So let's go to my queries, new query, and we can call it fixed bugs. Okay, select work item type, bug state equals to so let's select state equals to DOM and then new add new clause um, assign to to me like this and save the query and then let's see the results and then we get a list of all the fixed uh, bugs that is assigned to me. In this way we can create lots of queries where we can easily get the information we need. So let's, assuming uh, a test person wants to actually uh, go through the list of bugs that the developers has fixed, then he can uh, uh, have a list with fixed bugs and then you can go through the list and check if the bugs is actually fixed and if the bugs is fixed fixed then you can select the state to approved like this and click save and then this one will re be removed from the list in this way um, we can have different lists of uh, work items for developers, for testers, etc. If you want to uh, share the queries with uh, with your team, you can use the shared queries instead of the personal my queries. So that's all. So good luck with the uh, bug tracking in Visual Studio Team Services.